Hello friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. Today I'm going to be playing with the new Lush Life collection from ColourPop. I did just get it sent in the mail from them today. Thank you so much ColourPop for sending it over. This video is not sponsored. I'm making it on my own free will, but I did want to just let you know that it was sent to me. The collection is launching the day this video is going up on the 24th. I'm planning on having this video up before the launch happens, but it's happening the day it goes up the 24th at 10 a.m. PST. And I do have a discount code with ColourPop. It's 5 Butte Bean. it'll save you $5 on orders 25 or more. It might not work on this collection since it's a new release, but it's worth a shot if you want to save $5. I don't make any commission off of that code. It's just for you to save money. In this video, I'm going to break everything down and give you close-up swatches, and then I'll do a tutorial playing with the products. I love how this look came out, and I'm just really excited about it. This is one of the most exciting collections I've seen from them, and... I'm really pumped to dive in. Before we hop in though, I do just want to give you my jewelry details. My necklace today is from Shop Sun & Co. You can use my affiliate code ButteBean for 10% off. My plugs are from Love Kills Boutique. My earrings are from Spooky Doodle Club on Etsy. And my ring is from Ana Luisa. So yeah, with all that being said, let's just hop in and chat about the products and then get into the tutorial. Okay, let's dive into the products. Let's start with the cheek products because I like to start with complexion. I don't know why. We have three new cheek dew serums. These are kind of like a very dewy, glowy, more sheer liquid blush. We have the shades Hibiscus, Passion Flower, and Starfruit. Hibiscus is a brighter coral shade. It's what I'm wearing on my cheeks right now. I will show the application of it once we get to that part of the video, but it's a really cute, more corally shade. Passion Flower is the deepest one. It's a little bit more of like like a warmer berry tone. It's really, really pretty. I'm very excited about this one. And last, we have Starfruit. This one just seems to be more of like a mid-toned, warmer, pinky berry kind of shade. They aren't my favorite formula out of all of ColourPop's like blushes, but I do like the colors that they came out with, and I think a lot of people will really enjoy these. There are also three Lux glosses in the collection. I really enjoy the Lux gloss formula. I think it's just very... I don't know, very comfortable and very glossy. I just, I like them, it's a good gloss. We have the shades Orchid, Peace Lily, and Vanda. Orchid is a really cute, more orangey coral. It's very bright, very fun. Peace Lily is a super cute peachy neutral with lots of sparkles through it. I never get sick of like a sheer sparkly gloss. It makes me so happy. I was very tempted to wear this one today. And Vanda is also a bright coral, but this one is more of like a pinkier coral rather than an orangey coral, if that makes sense. Like they're very similar, the Orchid and Vanda one, but just a little bit different of a tone. These are all gonna be a little bit more on the sheer side. They're not like a completely opaque gloss, but I definitely prefer more of a sheer gloss, so I'm excited about these. I think they're very cute. We have three eye pencils, and you know how excited I get when there are new eye pencils because I literally wear a colored eye pencil in my waterline every time I do my makeup, so I can never have enough. We have the shades A Glow, Canopy, and Two Can Do It. <laughs> It's so funny. A glow is the one I'm wearing right now. It's just a really pretty metallic, bright, springy green. It's so cute. I don't have anything like this in my collection and I'm so pumped. Canopy is a really pretty, just kind of like mid-tone green. It's not like deep and emeraldy, but it's not super bright. It's just like a green and I actually don't have this shade either. So I'm really excited about this one as well. And this one isn't metallic. And we have another metallic one too. Can Do It is a metallic golden yellow. It's really, really pretty and I'm very excited about it as well. I'm again, always excited about eye pencils. And finally, we have the actual Lush Life palette. It is a 12 pan palette and I am so excited because not only are there no pressed glitters, there are no sequin shadows, it is full of color. This is such a bright, fun color story. When I first saw the picture of this, I legitimately for a second thought this was like a photoshopped like, imagination palette, like one somebody made up. Cause I was like, there's no way ColourPop did that. <laughs> but they actually did and I'm really excited about it. It's so pretty. I love the tones in here. This one's always really awkward to actually hold on camera cause it's so reflective. So I'm sorry if I blind you. But I love the mixture of like these warm pinky orangey tones. There are pops of like this weird mauvey plum color, those rich teals, the blue, the green. I love all of it. It's so delicious and fun very exciting. So yeah, overall, I'm really excited about this collection. It's colorful, it's bright, it's fun, it's the things that I've been asking for, and I'm just excited to play with it. So let's just hop in. I'm going to actually play with the products, show you how I did this look, and then at the end of the video, I will give you my thoughts on everything so far. 
Hi, how's it going? Um, so I've already gotten my makeup started, got the base stuff going on, so I already have on concealer, little bit of under eye setting powder, some bronzer, and a couple freckles just because I felt like doing them first. But we're gonna do blush together because there are three new serum blushes in this collection. And in the past, this wasn't my favorite blush formula from them. It's just a little too sheer for my liking. So I'm curious to see how these colors go. I think this color will be solid. This passion flower one, it's very deep, very pretty. Um, deciding, I think I wanna use hibiscus, this really bright one. I'm feeling very like bright and corally today. Like I'm probably gonna use the brightest gloss as well. Uh, so let's try this one out. I'm gonna use it with a brush because I find when I use this with a sponge, it's even more sheer because that's what sponges do. They absorb product. Um, this is an Alter Ego number two brush. I'm just gonna put a little of it right on there. And we'll just kinda see how it goes. Oh, I love that color. I do stand by that this is a sheer formula for my liking, but I do like this color more than I think the other cheek dews that I have from ColourPop do like this color. I think it's pretty. And just look how glowy it is. I love the finish of it. I like it. Objectively, like, it's a pretty product, and I can see a lot of people liking this a lot. It's just not quite the level of pigment that I prefer. That's okay. Not everything is meant for me, and I can objectively see, like, the good points in this. So I do love the finish. I think it's gloriously dewy and lovely. And I will play with the other two, just to kind of See, but so far I think this is my favorite cheek do that I've tried from them so far compared to the first four that I've tried. This is a glorious color and I really like that. I do just want a wee little bit on the nose because I can't live without it. I'm not gonna go too crazy because this product isn't too crazy anyway, but just to add a little dibble dabble of it. I think my cheeks look cute, they look good. Uh, for highlight, there isn't a highlight in the collection, so I'm just gonna use my Milk Makeup Flex Highlight in the shade Ice because, I don't know, once summertime hits, I fall in love with this highlight again. I don't know why. It's just a really pretty gold highlight. It's quite lovely and nice. A little on the nose. And now we are good to go. Let's move on to the eyes. I have an idea with this palette. Oh, I guess I do need to spray my face though with the 4th Ray Beauty Glisten Up Illuminating Mist. All right, so for the eyes, I want to do a halo eye with obviously these beautiful blues and teals. And I want it to kind of be from this into this. And I think I want this to be my inner corner highlight actually. I think that'll be fun and funky fresh you know i'm gonna go ahead and prime with the smashbox lid primer in light i'm going to blend it out and i'm not going to set it because i don't prefer to do that okay so i'm going to start with the on the prowl shade this beautiful deep teal it's so delicious i'm going to take that on this luxie brush it's a luxie 229 i'm just going to start just kind of dotting it right in the inner and outer portion of my eye I'm gonna be careful not to really take it through the center until I start blending with the clean brush because there aren't really light teals and blues in this palette. So it's either this or use like the peachy tan. And I really don't wanna have to use that. I really want these to just be by themselves if I can help it. So I just wanna make sure I have room to blend out this shade. And I'm gonna take it across the lower lash line because that's what I like to do. Sometimes I like to keep my lower lash line haloed as well with the opening in the center. But a lot of the time I just want a smoky lower lash. Just look how gorgeous that is. I feel like I haven't seen a color like this shade from ColourPop in a very long time. Oh, it's gorgeous. Now that that looks amazing, I'm gonna take Monsoon, this beautiful blue. I'm gonna take that on a pencil brush. This is a ColourPop E5. Oh my gosh, it's just so rich and delicious. I'm just gonna focus this right on the inner and outer part of my lid. Oh, just to start bringing in that dimension, it's so pretty. I like never get sick of playing with blue eyeshadow. You will never take it away from me. I think it's so cute. Again, I'm gonna smoke this really close to my lashes, even closer than that first shade I laid down. And now I'm gonna take a little bit of On the Prowl again on that Luxie brush, holding the very, very, very end of my brush so I have light pressure. And kind of just right on top of it, I'm just gonna lightly do little swirls, little circles with my brush, just to start creating that diffusion. 
Gonna tap into it again. Do the same with the lower lash line, just keeping it very, very, very tight and close to the lower lash. Oh, I'm already obsessed with this. It obviously looks crazy right now, but I'm already just obsessed. I love how rich these colors are. It's delicious and delightful. I don't know what shades I wanna use, because now I really want this right in the center, even though this shade is just really cute. But I feel like that bright green's just gonna be the best. Like, just playing with this quad, it's gonna be really cute. I can't decide. We'll see in a minute. I'm gonna take this brush now. It's a clean brush, it's a Juno & Co brush. And I'm just gonna start going to town on these edges. And at this point, like, I'm not too scared to just like run it through a little bit because it's not gonna transfer that much shadow through the middle. I'm just kind of being mindful of it. But now I'm just working on really blowing out and diffusing everything. So everything is nice and soft and flowy and pretty. I'm actually even wiping off this brush periodically as well. Oh, it's so pretty. I feel like these shades are blending out really, really well. I'm pretty pleased with that. Okay, so I want Juicy to be on the inner and outer portion of the halo, and then I think I do want that green in the center. I can't resist. It's gotta be there. It just has to. <laughs> and of course, I am gonna use my NYX Glitter Primer with this because I use it with every shimmer ever. I'm gonna just put a little loop of it right there at the edge. This is a Spectrum A13 brush and I'm going to just tap it in the inner and outer portion. Dip in right into Juicy. Ooh. Give it to me. Oh, that's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And this is just going to flow so nicely into that blue and teal that I already have laid down. Oh, it's gonna be such a good transition. And I actually think I wanna create a little bit of a V with this shade, so I want it to be almost as if I'm creating a blank V in the middle, so it's like that. It's not gonna be perfectly precise, but just something like that for me to pop the lighter shade and let that shine. Gonna quickly take my Luxie brush, no additional product, just to just smudge out where the shimmer and matte are so that it flows together all nice and seamless. And then for my pop, it's gonna be pom-pom. I had to read that like two times. I was like, it doesn't just say pom-pom. Yes, it does. <laughs> and I'm just gonna go ahead and take a little more glitter primer. This is an Alter Ego number six brush, just a small brush for me to plop it down. All right, taking pom-pom again on that same sticky brush, or I say again for the first time. And that's gonna go, ooh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, I love that already. I'm not doing like a precise cut crease per se, but I do just want to kind of windshield wiper this up here just so that it can like really flow into that V-shaped kind of gradient that I had laying down. I'm just gonna kind of lightly sweep along the edge here so that it can flow into that shimmer teal. I'm gonna pick up some more of Juicy on that Spectrum brush from before. And again, I'm just kind of tapping along the edge just so that everything can flow together nicely. And again, taking that Luxie brush from before, no additional product, very light pressure, just to make sure everything blends softly. I'm absolutely in love with this. It's so gorgeous. What a just... I don't know, it's so just colorful and beautiful, I love it. All right, so for the inner corner, I'm gonna take the Wildlife shade. It's like a really pretty light gold color. I'm just gonna pop that right there in the front. Ooh, I feel like the golden undertone really pops on top of the blue here. Oh, that's really cute. Yep, I love it, I love it, I love it. So now I'm just gonna repeat this on the other eye, throw on my lashes. One of these eye pencils, I'm thinking the lightest green will pop the most, and one of the glosses, and I'll be back when I'm complete. All right, the look is complete. I am obsessed with it. I think it's so pretty and just bright and fun and summery. And I'm not a summer person, but I love this look. It's so, so cute. The eye pencil I chose is the one called A Glow, just that really bright metallic shimmer green. It's so pretty. I do not have a pencil like this, and I'm so thrilled to have this in my collection now. My lashes are the style Aries from Lunar Beauty and the... Lip gloss I chose, I lost my word there, is Vanda. It's that really pretty corally one. It's so cute with this look. I love it in like, contrast with the greens. It's so pretty. So yeah, this is the look complete. I hope you like it. Let me zoom out and I will give you my thoughts on the collection so far.
Alrighty, how was the tutorial? Did you enjoy it? I enjoyed it. I love this look. I'm so excited to wear this for the rest of the night. Let's talk about the blushes. Obviously, I only use the one shade Hibiscus, and I kind of just stand by what I said before. It's not my favorite formula just because it's a little too sheer for my preference. I like a bit more pigment with my blushes, but this is the best one I've tried so far personally compared to the other four that I've tried. I like the color a lot, I think it's pretty, and I'm excited to give these ones a go too. I think Passion Flower is gonna be really, really pretty as well. I definitely can see some people really getting down for this, especially if you like more of a softer, airy kind of makeup look. I think you would really enjoy the Cheek Dew Blush Serums. I'm excited about the glosses. I have a thousand Lux glosses from them at this point, but I'm excited about these, and I actually don't have too many like corally glosses like this. I have a couple, but not a ton, so I'm excited about kind of adding these into my collection, and peace Lily, I have a million sheer sparkly glosses, literally probably a million, but I can't lie, this excites me too, so I'm really happy about seeing these. Part of me almost wishes though that like they came out with these in like lipstick form so it would be a little more opaque because I feel like that would have popped more with this collection, but I'm not mad at the fact that they're glosses and honestly I feel like these do go nicely with the cheek dues because then you get just like that nice sheer glowy cheek and then a nice sheer glowy lip. It, it's a look. I'm so happy about these eye pencils. I'm so excited about this metallic light green because I literally didn't have anything similar to it so I'm just so excited to add these to my collection. I will definitely be reaching for these as often as I need to because I wear these all the time. And this palette makes me really happy. They did such a good job. This whole like rainforest toucan theme, it's so cute. I'm excited to keep playing with this. I will do an Instagram video for you at some point, so just stay tuned. I really like the colors in here. It's bright and it's fun, it's colorful. I feel like you could still play with like neutral-esque tones with like the darker plum and like this darker, rustier, brownish, reddish color. You could still play with some neutrals and then add the pops of color, but if you're anything like me, you're just excited that it is very predominantly colorful. It's bright, it's rich, it's not light and pastel. It's so jewel-toned and pretty. I'm really excited about this. ColourPop did such a good job with this collection. I really like just all the aspects of it. I feel like it doesn't just seem like the same old, same old from them again. I will say ColourPop is releasing a lot lately. They are literally back to their like every five or seven days a new release grind. I wish they would slow it down a tad bit, but I am really pumped about this one. I like seeing really good, well thought out, curated collections. I like seeing that it's not just another safe palette. I feel like they really did a good job with this one and I'm excited to hear what you all think. Do you plan on picking anything up from this collection? What would you wanna pick up? Are you passing on it? I wanna hear all of your thoughts down below. If you made it to the end of this video, leave me an emoji that makes you think of the rainforest since that's what this theme is all about. And if you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already, please hop over to my Instagram. It's Butte Bean, follow me there. I post every single day and don't forget to subscribe. I'm posting most days here as well. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.